But let's say you have one of these documents, anything uh, below uh, access of 80, 70 to 80 countries is considered extremely poor. Uh, so it's classified as a very poor access uh, passport. It's again, a respected document. It's not trashy, it's not trash. The access that uh, one has on the passport, that might be trash. Now, how can you jack up a weak passport to make it strong? There are ways where your existing weak passport can actually bump up to be a very strong passport. And there's a trick to it. A lot of people are aware, but a lot of people, a majority of the people are not aware how you can bump up access on an almost next to none passport to make it really, really attractive, really strong, and put it in line with one of the stronger passports. I'm going to discuss that in a lot more detail. But in case you were new to my channel, my name is Jay. And here we discuss investments that lead to residencies, citizenships, news articles, impacts, analysis, and a whole lot more. So make sure you turn on the bell notification and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any important notification, new programs, uh, impact to existing programs, and all of that, right? So go ahead and subscribe. All right, so I'm going to discuss three very important permits that you can pair with your existing poor weak passport, right, to make it stronger. The first one that I'm going to discuss is the Canadian PR, the permanent residency card. A lot of people don't know that the Canadian PR comes with its own set of uh, several countries, around 20 countries that you get, that it brings visa-free access with. The second one I'm going to discuss is the U.S., uh, green card, again, the equivalent of the Canadian PR, that gets you 25 countries with some phenomenal access to certain countries. I'm going to briefly touch upon that. And finally, I'm going to talk about uh, the Schengen or the Golden Visa. If you have one of those documents, then you get access to multiple countries through that. So it's very important to understand that just paying for, let's say, 100K or 150K and purchasing some access document from some country where, where you're not going to visit. All you thought was, let's get this passport and then I solve the access issue. Guess what? Now all the governments are looking at um, this and they're canceling or terminating access slowly but surely for all of these paid options. So all the loopholes are being patched up or the loopholes are being closed. So in most cases, you know, there's a good chance that you might lose all your money because the access would go away. They will keep the access for the born citizens, the real citizens of that country. But for anyone trying to circumvent the laws of the nation by purchasing or donating and getting this passport, then uh, again, the whole objective is defeated. The point of this video, however, is, and in case you are interested in that video, the latest crackdown by UK on some of these uh, access documents, you can return and check this video. This talks about the whole matter in a lot more detail. Let's focus on the Canadian uh, permanent residency card. So outside of Canada, now obviously it gives you access to Canada, which is a tier A country. So great, great country uh, to begin with. But outside of Canada, it gives you access to the Dutch Caribbean territories. Again, phenomenal access. Some notable access uh, includes Bahamas, Belize, Bermuda, BVI, uh, Cayman Islands, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Georgia. And then you have Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Peru. It gives you access to Peru, Qatar, um, Singapore, which is a very big one. Again, that's a, that's a limited access, but you do get access to Singapore. South Korea, again, limited access, but you do get access to South Korea. Uh, Taiwan, and then a host of other very interesting countries that it gets access to, right? So let's say your passport has 70 countries odd on your weak passport. You add another 20, and now you're talking about 100 countries with some really key ones, and now you have beefed up that access. Now you don't need to spend 100K or 200K. Here you go for almost for free, you know, you get access to, or you bump up your existing passport, and guess what? It's your real passport. Uh, you aren't subjected to all those eyeballs that you get with something that you uh, pay for and, uh, you know, using that pay for scheme, and, and you know, it obviously avoid a lot of, uh, a lot of scrutiny and trouble in various ways. So this is just the Canadian PR card. Now, if you look at the US uh, green card, that's a bomb. You know, it gives you 25 very awesome countries, which includes the US itself, right? Access to the US, the US green card. So obviously no brainer. You get Canada on that. So you get two very important countries. And then you get Netherlands, 
right? So you get a Dutch access, again, phenomenal. So what can go wrong, right? You have your, let's say you have, you have the weakest of the weakest African passports and you combine that with this residency permit and then you get access to a whole lot of countries uh, and obviously solves the purpose, keeps you low profile, keeps you on track and you're not doing anything illegal, right? The third one is the, the golden visa or the Schengen access that again brings at least 20 to 25 hot countries on its list. Again, I'm not going to go through that list. It's all available material. You can always reach us. We can you know discuss and compare and uh, contrast what options you know um, are suitable for you or you know you already have. So these are some of the things you got to be aware of. So when you obviously discuss all of this thing with someone knowledgeable, someone truly genuine and not just trying to market you some uh, shady access, uh, obviously, this is something that you should be aware of, right? So the point I'm trying to make is that once you have the right kind of residency permit, and then you, even if you have the worst kind of passport or the weakest kind of passport, you can combine and um, you can strike very interesting combinations for access purposes, for residency purposes, and even for freedom of movement purposes. Now, these are not just the only permits. Um uh, mostly these are, but again, you know, there are multiple other options that can be uh, that can be interesting uh, options as well. All right, I hope you liked uh, this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and catch you in the next one.